Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please, come in. The corn tash is cooking, but not ready yet. I hope you're hungry. I am indeed. It smells delicious. How have you been, Skinner? I'm doing well, thank you. It's been a while since we've seen each other. How have you been? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me over. Is there anything I can do to help? That's very kind of you, thank you. I could use some help setting the table. What have I done? How could I be so careless? I should have known better than to leave the corn tash unattended. I can't believe I burned the corn tash. I'm gonna have to start over. That tree outside looks like it's full of delicious dessert apples. Time to get creative in the kitchen and make a dessert apple tash. I'll need a few ingredients like flour, butter, and sugar. Then I can make an apple crumble topping and bake it until it's golden and crispy. This should make a delicious replacement for the burnt corn tash. Now, just to wait for it to bake and smell the delicious aroma filling the room. Ah, time to enjoy a delicious dessert apple, Tosh. Mmm, so good. What on earth is going on in here? The kitchen is full of smoke. It's just steam. I was cooking a new recipe. That's not steam, that's smoke. What are you doing? I am experimenting with a new recipe. The steam is just part of the cooking process. Skinner, did you switch the corn attache with dessert apple? No, why would I do that? The corn attache was old but still edible. And I knew the dessert apple was fresh from the farmer's market. I was just trying to surprise everyone with a tasty treat. But Skinner, you said the corn attache was bad and the dessert apple was fresh. That doesn't make any sense. I may have gotten a bit carried away with the description, but I stand by my story. The dessert apple was a much better choice than the corn attache, and I'm sure everyone is enjoying it. I, I'll believe you, Skinner. Just admit that you switched the two items. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We must evacuate. There's no fire. It's probably just an oceanic riptide. Don't worry. It will pass in a few minutes. This isn't a riptide, Skinner. The kitchen is actually on fire. We need to get out now. No, no, no. It's not a fire. It must be an oceanic riptide. We'll be safe if we just stay here. That's ridiculous. The kitchen is burning. We need to get out of here now. Um, thanks for lunch, Professor Skinner. I should be going now. Ah, a pleasure as always. Be careful on your way out. The oceanic riptides can be a bit tricky out there. Yeah, sure. See you later. Take care. You too?